Welcome back to Board Time Garage, everybody. A um, little bit of an update, I guess. The rear window opening, in my opinion, is done. Good enough to uh, prime and paint and get ready for the window to go in. So, yeah. Been doing a little bit of work here. Grinding and welding blowing through here and then welding it up and you know seeing daylight from the bottom like I showed in the other video and then starting on the other side over there so yeah tidied up all that inside hey look at that uh, primer I gobbed on there it's kind of got that 60s sort of a paint seam some of them super stocks sure were looking pretty cool. So, in here was all bubble gummy and stuff. So, I got out the die grinder and some die bits and ground it down and fixed the hole that was in there. There was a hole in there this morning. Um, yeah, just cleaned it up. Made it look so not ugly. It's still ugly, but not as ugly. Um, fixed this rail here. There was actually rusted right out in here, and I just used weld and just built it up and ground it. And so now we got some place for the window seal to sit. Um, gonna give this a light coat of body fill, covering these little holes and stuff. Um, so yeah, moving forward. Uh, I've got all the holes, I think, patched in the floor. Maybe, well, over here, see that daylight there? Yeah, so I'm gonna find a couple more of those little places. Um, there in the fender. It's quite a bit in this fender, actually. So, I might tackle those from the wheel well side. Just use a light and uh, go from there. So, moving forward, welding here. I want to clean that up. And instead of just tack welds, actually weld it all. And then there's a seam here. And the seam sealer has gone out of it over on that side. So I'm not really sure. We might just try and strip that really good. Maybe we're going to tack a strip right across there. Uh, tack strip of metal, I mean. Because it's just 50 year old seam sealer. You know. Um. Anyways, I want to make the floor nice and strong, dynamite it, and then that'll be done. We're getting there. So, floor's done. Rear window opening is done. I guess, really, the next thing, uh, after a little bit of welding that I just said, we'll start, we can clean. And, I don't know, another weekend or two? I'll be painting the interior of this car. That's what I think. Yep. So, that's where we're at. Uh, steadily going forward. Finding rust, dealing with it. Found more rust I'm going to have to deal with, but that's exterior, not interior. So, not really worried about that right today. Um, moving forward with getting the interior ready. To paint it so that means a uh, little bit more welding uh, the tools man you know I never had this die grinding bits before and on this project they've come in really handy oh sorry about that um, like this guy right. Let's see if I can turn this around a bit there. <laughs> 
guess you call it a cylinder shape, right? So in here, on this body line, right, like on the other side, you know, it's got a, a kind of a certain shape, right? So you can't get that with a four and a half inch angle grinder, but a little cylinder guy sure came in handy today, I tell you. Because I cleaned up this corner real nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, you know, just come in here, kind of mills it out nice and flat. Uh, this worked good along this, this edge milling get the welds that i try to build up you gotta build it up and then you burn through and then you try to build it up some more and then you gotta grind off a bunch so you're left with you know some metal so um, i don't know i didn't quite clean this up nice yet but i just went ahead and squirted it with a little bit of primer just to get it sealed up so i don't know feels like there's some slag bubbles or something on there so yeah we've got uh, you know i'm happy with my rear window now um so yeah i'm gonna move keep moving forward i kind of jumped from the floor right doing these patches and then i just couldn't stand i looked over in that corner over there and i just said yeah i gotta deal with that there's a hole and a whole bunch of welds from when I was trying to use the, the bigger wire which is no good for this stuff anyway I see some place that needs attention oh my weld so yeah so I don't know if there's very many people watching uh, who will want to comment or whatever, but uh, the car's original color was QQ1. That's the color I've been painting it. I don't know if I should go black and QQ1. Like a Hemi, a Hemi uh, super stock I've seen. I don't know. What do you think? Comment. Like and share. And um, see you next time. Thanks for watching Borrow Time Garage, everyone.